Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, I've been a little bit MIA the past week or two. I was finishing up with some summer classes, so I had finals, and then I had my birthday, so it was just kind of like a crazy past two weeks, but it feels so good to be back filming. So today we're gonna do a fun little back to school tutorial, and this is just something, it's just a really quick, easy look that you can do, you know, when you're half asleep in the morning and rushing to get ready, and I hope you guys have fun watching. Okay, I've already cleansed and moisturized my face, so I'm gonna start out with a primer. Now for primer, like really early mornings and you're gonna be out like all day at school and just busy running around doing stuff, I would recommend kind of like a tackier, stickier primer. So I'm gonna be using the Professional Matte Rescue and I'm going to be focusing it um, mostly in my T-zone where I get the most oily and I need the most help. I kind of like to pat it into my skin as well just to really ensure that it's it's in there and it's sticking and it's ready to go. I know we're gonna have those gnarly dark circles under our eyes from late night studying or partying or whatever, so I am going to be using this little NYX color correcting palette and I'm gonna zoom you guys in really quick. And I'm gonna be using this orangish shade and just putting it right underneath my eye on those bags to help, just to give us a little bit of life. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay One and Done and I like this because it's like a great medium coverage that you can build. So, I mean, if you're just having kind of like, um, you know, like a no makeup makeup day, you can just wear it like one little layer and you're good to go. But if you want to build it up, you can. I'm gonna be using a, just a little condensed um, foundation brush from e.l.f. and applying that all over the face. And something that I wanna talk about too is I don't want anyone out there to feel like to go to school, they have to wear makeup. You know, it should be something that just to have fun and it shouldn't be like a main focus you know you shouldn't have to feel like you have to wear makeup to go out in the world being pretty and being like society's presentable is not your tax to pay in this world you go out in whatever you feel the most comfortable with and I personally just really I really enjoy wearing makeup but it's not like a huge priority of mine, especially, you know, when I was in school and I was in high school, I was very self-conscious and I felt like my senior year, especially like I had to wear a lot of makeup just to look presentable. Um, looking back on it, it was so stupid because, you know, I should have been focusing more on like having fun with my friends and going out and doing stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean up any streakiness at all with a beauty blender. Okay, then for concealer today, I brought in my big guns. This is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this will cover up any gnarly bags you might have. Okay, we're just going to apply it under the eyes in kind of a triangle shape. You don't really want to do it like in a U shape underneath your eye because that will emphasize more like the discoloration over here. So just make sure to blend it out into your cheeks because you want to like draw the least attention, you know, to that area of your face when it's really tired. And dull and definitely remember to set this concealer because it is really heavy so go ahead and use a um, translucent powder or a setting powder today I'm going to use the um, Kat Von D locket translucent I love this powder it's it is all day wear it's going to keep you from creasing it's just really lightweight and nice but it gets the job done and we're just going to leave that there to go ahead and bake and set and then the quickest way to get your brows done is the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I'm gonna use the shade three. I love this for just a really quick, just brush through and you're good to go. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to start back combing to really get the product on there. And then brushing forward. And this will also kind of help keep your brows in place throughout the day. So, I mean, just running around to classes or doing anything crazy after school, they will stay. Okay, brows are done, then we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now for a primer, for my eyes, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of the shape tape on my lid. I'm just gonna use a little flat brush. And honestly, you need the tiniest amount just to dab barely on it. And we're gonna apply that to the lid. And I like using this for a eye primer because it's so heavy duty and I personally have some veins and discoloration on my lid that this will kind of neutralize and help cover up and you know like I said you know it's gonna stick and stay all day okay and then for eyeshadow today I'm gonna be using this cute little pixie palette 
It's called It's Judy Time. And I saw this at Target and I thought it was just super cute and it's got these great fall colors in it and I I love Pixie. I've been I um, just recently started using them actually, but it's really affordable and they have great color payoff. And so I was really excited to go ahead and try this little eyeshadow palette out. For all over my lid, I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Good Morning, and I thought that was very appropriate for this tutorial. And just a fluffy Morphe brush. And look at that payoff. I like barely swiped. We're gonna have to, oh. She's a little powdery, but you know what? We can work with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply her all over the eye. Now for my eyes, I'm definitely not going to do anything crazy today because honestly, truly, when it's like the butt crack of dawn, you like don't want to be just really messing with your eyeshadow. Like you just want something like easy and that's pretty. Then for the crease, I'm going to use this shade right here and it's called Honey Bear. Okay, and then I want to show you like how pigmented this is. So I'm going to take her and look at that. That is so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the crease just to give it a little bit more definition. And to brighten up that crease just a little bit more, I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful kind of mauve shade and this is called Ping. And this color will go just a little bit lower than that previous um, crease color. For the outermost corner of her eye, and I'm gonna use this darker brown shade called Aw Snap. Then for the center of my eye to just really brighten it up and give it some life, I'm gonna be using this beautiful shimmery shade right here named Getaway. And it's almost got like, it's brown, but it's almost got like pinky little flecks in it. I'm really excited to use it. And I think I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. I like applying shimmery shades with my finger just because it really ensures that it sticks and that there isn't a lot of fallout. Oh, that is so pretty. Can you guys see that on there? I love this shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on the center of my eye. Ooh! And then just to make sure that it all blends together really nicely, I'm going to take that same outer color called All Snap that we use on the outer corner and just go ahead and blend those two together just to make sure they're really nice and cohesive. And then for the inner corner and a little bit of a brow bone highlight, I'm going to use this shade right here called Snowflake. Okay, my favorite brush to use for my inner corner and my brow bone is this one from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself um, little collection. And of course, I mean, they're so cute. They look like a little unicorn horn. And it's got like this nice, like fluffy but controlled bristles. So you can really get in there and it applies just so nicely. I'll go ahead and show you. So we're going to dip into Snowflake. Oh my goodness, so much pigment again. And apply her to that inner corner. nice and apply that on the brow bone as well okay now that the eyeshadow is done I'm gonna go ahead and brush away this bake underneath my eye and the reason I like to keep it on during the eyeshadow is that if there's any fallout it's not gonna ruin your makeup you just get to swipe it off and it's gone and to bring a little bit of color back to my face I'm gonna be using this makeup forever Pro Finish Powder, and this is just a really lightweight little powder, and sh oh my god, like I l obviously love it, like I need to go buy a new one, and we're just going to swipe that away. And then for mascara today, I'm going to be using my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and it's just, I'm honestly, I've been through so many mascaras, and this just really truly gives you the best lift and volume just to really make those eyes appear awake. And for the under eyes, you barely just need to touch because there's so much color payoff on this mascara. Okay, then moving back to our face to give us just a little bit of color because in the deep ass winter, I know like me, I get even whiter than this and I just need some help to make it look like there's some dimension and color to my face. So I'm gonna go in with Hula Light and apply it to the hollows of my cheek. And again, I'm going to use from the little Tarte collection, um, this beautiful little bronzer brush. And if you have darker skin, then I would recommend Hula, not Hula Light for you. And then for blush today, I'm going to use my favorite brush of the summer, which is California. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheek. And again, from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself collection, I'm gonna use this cute little blush brush. 
And this just, again, makes us look more alive and awake and like there's actually blood flow to our face. And then for highlight today, just to give a little bit of a glow, nothing like too major or crazy, I'm gonna use this Milani Strobe Light in the shade one. And I'm going to apply it with just a little fan brush. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna be using Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. It is the perfect nude and it stays on all day. I first bought this my, God, what was it? My, maybe my second year of college. And I had never really like been a liquid lipstick person before, but I, but I got it and I understand now why it has all the hype because I was literally running around to classes all day. I was eating snacks in between classes and this shit stayed on. So for setting spray today, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay D Slick and I really like this for an all day wear because it helps with oil control and it's great. You can, there's, I have a mini version of this that I keep in my purse to just refresh throughout the day if you feel you need it. Okay guys, here's the final look. I wanna thank you all for watching today and I want to leave you with that I hope you don't feel like you have to wear makeup to go to school every day. I want you to think of makeup as something fun that you can do every once in a while or or if you feel comfortable wearing it every day, but I don't want you to feel like it's you know, a necessity for you to do. And I wanna hope that you guys all have a wonderful school year and don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thanks, bye.